Why are you linking that helicopter? Weird champ. <laughs> Where do you even get this from, actually? <laughs> Why are you linking me this and weird champing me? I was literally like, I was literally like 13 in this picture, man. Why? How are you linking me this and weird champing? <laughs> Dude, I. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's when I broke my arm. I broke I broke my arm twice in my life actually. Hairline. Nice. You guys. <laughs> Look at Mo. <laughs> He's 12 years old. <laughs> Look at his hairline. <laughs> Real mature. What is this one? <laughs> I think I posted this one before. <laughs> Look at my pants. <laughs> yeah, this is a while ago. Okay, I broke my arm twice when I was a kid. I broke my arm once when I was maybe in like the second grade or something. I was on the monkey bars with my friend. Him, it was me, my friend, and his nanny. And she was like watching over us while we were at the park. And she was like, okay, it's time to go. And I was like, oh, I want to so monkey bar, monkey bar. And I was on the monkey bars. And my friend's like, we gotta go. And nanny said we gotta go. And I'm like, monkey bar, monkey bar. And then he pulled my leg and I and he pulled my leg while I was like climbing, like going on the monkey bars, and I fell on my arm and broke it. Second time I broke my arm was when I was in like uh, I think this one was 7th grade, right? This looks like a 7th grade picture. Um, and it, it was like some, I think my, my, f I don't know what it was. I actually legitimately can't remember. I think my friend threw a slice of pizza at me or something. He threw a slice of pizza at me and I was like, what the fuck? So I picked up his pizza and I think I was, I was trying to chase him and my pants were too saggy. So I, I slipped. I, maybe, maybe this is, what, yeah, you see these pants? I think, these, I think this was it actually. This is where I broke my arm or I broke my, like, it was like my, more my wrist bone. I chased him, look at my pants, look how baggy and, and these pants were. I tried chasing him and I slipped because my pants were like, they s were sagging. I thought it was cool. It's showtime! <laughs> if Yasuo chose me, I'd send him cute selfies like this every morning, but instead I'm sending them to you. Nice. Real mature guys. Real mature Bridget. I saw, hey, still got the selfie. Hey, chat, chat, listen. I intentionally didn't pick Bridget because why would I want that selfie to be sent to me exclusively instead of sharing with the boys, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, the boys gotta eat. Boys gotta eat. Chat. I know a lot of you guys are wondering something very important. Mo, how are you that tall, handsome, smart, and rich? Nothing I can do for you there. But the thing I can help you with. Oh, you got a Yasuo game. I just know what I'm gonna do. Next game, I'm gonna be... Dude, dude, dude. If this game goes through, I'm going to teach you guys. My brain is going to be in your hands. Like, literally, actually. I'm, I'm going to explain every single thing this game. Like, I'm going to explain every little minor detail this game. And I'm going to teach you guys so much about Yasuo. So just learn. But yeah, like I was saying, I can't help you with the whole getting strong part. That you got to hit the gym for. The whole getting tall part, genetics or surgery. The whole smart part, honestly, genetics. And I'm kind of just a genius. But what I can help you with is chat. If you want to. Play as well as me, watch. Watch this game. I would go Hexrinker with you, no. Because there's only one AP on the enemy team. I would just build like a dickhead and go PD. PD's just better than Hexrinker here because PD works for the Kha'Zix one shot as well. If you go Hexrinker, Kha'Zix one shots you if he's even or, one, or a little fed. Shiv if I want to play greedy, PD if I want to play smart, but we'll see. Um, Q start, obviously, because I'm a melee champion into melee, oh, melee, melee into melee, melee matchup. I, he's probably just gonna try to eat these minions, so what I'm gonna do is do that. Oh, he eat me too. That's pretty bad of me to lose my passive shield, but it's okay. You want to always walk around as Yasuo in lane if you don't have shield up. One, it's always just good to have pressure on the lane by walking around, you know? And then two, you want your shield back up ASAP. Q for last hits, because you always want Tornado. Don't auto attack those, Q them. Because now that I have Tornado, I have a little bit more pressure in lane. I'm not going to use it because I don't want to shove the wave though. If I throw the Nado at him, it hits minions and shoves the wave faster. I don't want to shove this wave fast. I want to keep it here. As long as that's possible. EQ that to EQ him. E, auto that, auto that. I want to get his E out before I like get too close to him. I'll get Windwall pre before level 6, before his ult, but I don't need Windwall level 3. <sighs> that's an int. It's okay. I have a pot and I'm still really ahead. See, I haven't missed any farm and I'm up like 10 and I've been harassing him a lot. Yeah, I pretty much just want to farm and poke, poke. He's out of pots now. I'll leave those two minions. I'm going to go get a ward out because I'm pretty dangerous here. Playing pretty dangerously. I'm gonna get a ward right here, a little over this ramp, because this ward tells me everything. This ward tells me everything, from raptors to red buff to where he's like, tells you everything you need to know. I'm gonna walk away from those minions because I don't know where Kha'Zix is, don't want him to jump on me from the side. 
I don't need to cue these minions or push them in at all because Fizz is the one who needs to walk into me. I don't, I'm not scared of him, he's scared of me. So I don't want to push into his tower. Pushing into his tower here would be dumb. One, it makes me more gankable because Kha'Zix can easily look mid. If I push mid, Kha'Zix can just come wrap around. If I'm here, how is Kha'Zix going to gank me? Can Kha'Zix kill me right now? Probably not. I have Gragas pretty close to here. I'm going to wait here, play a little safe. He seems to be playing a little more cocky than usual. So it makes me think that his jungler could be here. And I don't want to risk losing a wave. I think I can play a little more aggressive now because Gragas is close to me. When Gragas, the closer Gragas gets to me, the, the, close, the more aggressive I can play. There we go. Like I said, you, you get tells off of the way people play in laning phase. So it tells me where their jungler is, literally just from like how he plays laning phase. Playing, I think this is this isn't that greedy of a build. This is fine. I was considering just getting a Berserk Greaves and a second Doran's Blade, but I think I'm like ahead enough to where I don't need a second Doran's Blade. Should have stayed in base for a little more HP, but it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, the reason I build these items, by the way, is because obviously Berserk Greaves. I've been rushing those for a while now. Berserk Greaves are the best rush on Yasuo at the moment because how much attack speed you get. You don't get enough attack speed out of Zeal alone, so Berserk Greaves are a better rush. Yeah, right now he's scared to walk into me. What I want to do is I'm oh. Throw my wind wall to bait his thingy. Ooh. Oh, I'm griefing. I threw my wind wall to bait his ability because I knew he would eat my he wants to eat my tornado. But if I throw a wind wall out after here he whiffs his ult, like I don't I don't need wind wall for anything, and then I bait out his E, but I whiffed my ability after. Still a good trade because I get his ult for free and I have lane pressure. And they also have more sustain than him because I have Ravenous Hunter and Taste the Blood, along with the D-Blade. Uh, right now I don't know where Kha'Zix is. I'm guessing he's not on this side because this ward tells us a lot. Uh, I kind of want to shove this just because it gives me Ravenous Hunter healing every time I EQ the minions. Uh, I keep missing these Qs on him. It's really troll. I'm fine. You're such a cuck for that. He really... Sure, like, if Alistar really wants to ignite me and, like... Go for that shiver, man. I'm probably gonna go for uh, PD this game because PD is just really good. There's no reason to really go Shiv here. PD just does so much more. The, the reasoning behind when you go PD and Shiv, Shiv is if you just want to one-shot your lane opponent and like one-shot anyone in general. If you want some magic damage, you want some like kind of wave clearing away. I kind of want PD here because I don't want to kill all the minions instantly because I want to dash away from Fizz and Kha'Zix. Um, and then also I want uh, his status as fuck because he just wasted his E. Big Lips Berry donated $2. Wow. That's really interesting, Mo. Feel smart, man. Is that so? No way, he Wow. Lives. Wave uh, is in a good man, place. I didn't get the good kill. job, man. Shiv Rush? Not before Berserk Greaves. Shiv Rush is fine after Greaves, but I'm gonna go PD this game. I could honestly go for either just because I'm so fat. You know, I'll go Shiv. I'll go Shiv. I see Kha'Zix right here. I just saw him on the map. He can go invisible and do a lot of damage to me near tower, and I can't retaliate, so I gotta walk away. That ward's actually not that good. I ideal ward would have been like probably here because we already have so much control here. Another pink, quite a lot. I might just steal a red, can I? What item would you go as defensive against heavy AP? Depends on the people they have on their team. If they have someone like a LeBlanc, Hex Shrinker's good because, you know, it prevents her from bursting. But at the same time, you can also go for a Wits End and PD combo. And if it's someone like an Echo who doesn't have like an insta one-shot burst, but more so like, he has passive prop, then he's gonna deal more damage, he has ult, all that, I like to go Wits End against people who don't insta one-shot me. Ooh, that's pretty unlucky. I might have to go PD now. Fish just got three kills for no reason, I have to go PD. PD is really good just because it gives you a shield. It's like if you need Sterex, if you think you need Sterex that game, but you need Sterex earlier, that's when, you, that's when you go PD pretty much. I'm gonna look for a river here since my jungle's also looking. I'm dead. Oh, I should have Q auto then ulted. I thought I could auto Q auto ult. PD shield really didn't even save me there. Holy shit. Damn, he really one shots me through PD. That's pretty nuts actually. He really got fed for no reason. Holy shit. Those three kills really put him in a good spot. I'm still more ahead than him. I just got caught off guard there. I didn't think he was sitting in that bush. Sheesh. So I think Kha'Zix is actually so underrated right now. What do you guys think? Like, I legitimately think the champion's kind of busted right now. Now, I think Kha'Zix R evolve into, like, Q or W, whatever they do, is so nuts, man. Don't know who's more broken, Kha'Zix or Rengar? I think they're both kind of nutty, honestly. Save my ignite. 
Yo, look at Kha'Zix. Look at this champion. Look at him. Oh, nice. Good, good Zhonya's from Kai'Sa. Like, really good, actually. You can perma kite with his R Evolved. Honestly, kind of busted. Oh, Kha'Zix R? Yeah, Kha'Zix R Evolve is actually kind of nuts. Dude, thank God at least they, like, Kha'Zix isn't still the old. Do you guys remember when Kha'Zix R Evolves R? He walks, literally walks into a bush, goes in this. How dumb was that? You know how long they kept that in the game? Dude, they kept that shit in the game for way too fucking long, honestly. I, dude, that was so, that I, oh my lord. I'm actually getting annoyed thinking about it. Oh, I was out of range. Nice. Yeah, that was probably some of the dumbest shit like Riot's ever done. When they legitimately just, in case you don't know what it was, because either you didn't play, you quit, you don't know, you forgot. Basically, now when you evolve Kha'Zix ult, he, you can go invisible for longer and for for multiple durations, right? Like instead of like two durations, three durations, instead of like two seconds, three seconds, I don't know the exact numbers, but old Kha'Zix, what they did, is when you evolve your R, every time you walk into a bush, you get, you're invisible. So you just walk into bush. You could go from here to here to here to here and you couldn't see him. What do you think about Yasuo versus Zero? Really bad matchup. Azir should sit on Yasuo. Wow, you are. I should live, right? Oh, I'm such a dirty inter for that Q. Sad. We have 30 seconds, 4v1. Uh, yeah, I'll start us up in 10. <laughs> Fuck it, boys, we're running this shit. Get a tower, get a singular tower. I right, got a tower in there. I'm just gonna ult him just so he can't like E away or anything. Zanya's waste time. My ult's a 30 second cooldown. I like when you're late game Yasuo, if you see any ult you can take, you usually wanna take it. But what is your opinion on current Kiana? Did they nerf Kiana yet? I don't know. I think she's still pretty good. I'm bad at her, but she's pretty good, I think. How do you play Yasuo into team fights when your team has no engage or they suck at engaging and you get deleted if you engage? <laughs> Bro, you guys want like specific stuff that like I can't answer unless like I watch the game or like it, very specific, you know? It's, it's kind of hard. So you pretty much just play on the defensive. Uh, and the thing is, you don't always have to initiate a team fight. You don't always have to jump to the back line. Like, my goal in those fights weren't always to go kill Jinx, get Jinx, Jinx, Jinx must die, she's the ADC. No. What I did is I stood, I stood back, let my team do their thing. When they engage or my team engage, whatever. If there was no knock up on Jinx, I wouldn't, uh, if there was a knock up, I'd ult her. If there wasn't an ult, a knock up on Jinx, I would just hit whoever's in front of me and windwall for my team. You don't always have to go deep, you know? Ooh.